Welcome back to the channel guys. Cross Country Garage. This is our van reveal. You've been seeing it on uh, YouTube. This is our 1978 G10 Chevy van. It basically started off as a pretty much a rubbish va vehicle for a few hundred bucks and then it turned into this. But you know what? We're going to go over the, uh, the outside and the inside and everything and um, here we go. Let's start from the front. So this is a 78 van, but you will see a 71 to uh, 77 grill. We did the conversion. That's actually in our YouTube videos. We got the, uh, the old school Kmart fog lights I, I found on eBay. The flare, the flare kit all the way around the van here. I um, actually parted out a, a van that was uh, pretty much uh, pretty much junk unfortunately but I got a lot of cool parts off of it the van did come with this really cool um, louvered hood and everything that was pretty neat I got a little custom uh, NASCAR style uh, hood prop and this is a ghetto charged engine it's got the ghetto charger it adds about zero horsepower yeah absolutely but you know what? It's kind of cool. <clears throat> we have the MSD ignition. We got the Cal Customs horn, the Super Sound, the NJ Customs private property sign. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, it does. It excuse the tidiness in here. We did literally just finish up painting and everything. I am gonna clean in here. But yeah, it's um, 350 small block. It's got a mild cam headers, poly. Uh, carburetor Elderbrock intake and it's got a uh, t56 six-speed manual gearbox hooked up to it and out back it's got a uh, 411 411 uh, posi rear in it pretty cool setup very fun to drive and we will be making a video we take it out on a test drive closes nice so bring it along the side here sourced out some uh, Aluminum slot mags. They're uh, eight and a half inch in the front, ten and a half or ten inch out back. And this this is the Chevy Van G10 Hearst Edition. And we did do our. You've seen our uh, bubbles on um, on our other channels. This is the uh, front marker light we did. Yeah. And uh, while we have the attention on the bubbles, this is the Maltese Cross. We did. I think everyone's seen all this. in house. We've seen, you know, seen this, and then we, and then um, we did the uh, bubble tail lights as well to match. And actually, almost forgot we got the bubble license yep. plate. License plates on there. Yep. But moving back towards the center of the van, um, this van will be West Coast based, but I I'm in New Jersey, and. Uh, all this was done and almost all the parts were found in New Jersey and everything but I did find parts in Pennsylvania and all met a bunch of friends I got these thrush side pipes and uh, we restored them um, they're clean enough for a driver but we uh, actually got cherry bomb mufflers fit into there Scott, this is your part here. What's, no, let's what's, go around the whole van. Yo, you want to go around yeah, the whole van? Yeah, go around the outside first. All righty. Yeah, we've got we, some Trans Am mirrors. we got some Don't Trans Am. Them. got Trans Am mirrors there. We have, um, be honest, it's just laying on top. You'll see that. We have the uh, Venturi vent. I still need to cut through the roof and everything. Like I said, we're just getting this stuff done. This is a, uh, a whale tail. That's, uh, I'd say kind of rare, but it came off, it was built for a Camaro, a third gen Camaro, and I had to widen it 11 inches yeah, and shape I, and shape the sides and everything else to contour the roof. And I think that's, uh, this does make a special guest appearance in one of our videos. Yes, it does. Yep. Yes, it does. But it came out good. Let's try to get a better picture of it. It's big. It will push some air. <laughs> yep. Up and over. 
go back around, work our way back to the visor. One other cool thing is this uh, 77 on down rear bumper that we, you know, converted to in the back. The guy had a, a, a trailer hitch bolted to it. So you know what we did with the hole? We put a backup camera in there. How neat is that? Because you got a panel, plug. you got a panel van. You need, you need to see out the back. And and speaking of panel van, I could, I, I did make a video, I believe, right, Scott? No, not about this. Oh, okay, not about this one. I did actually about the rust repair, but this was a window door, and um, I'm not going to get into all detail, technical details and stuff like that. But it is a solid door now. Yep. Matching, this is a factory solid door. You'll see with the pocket, you know, 77 on down for the license plate. Yeah. Now, basically, I could be wrong here, but we took the original door, window door, cut the bottom off, and moved that up to the top. Yeah, right? what, what I, yeah, I mean, like I said, we're not getting all technical, but I'll drop a little seed. I took a donor door and took the panel off because I had a slight curvature on the bottom and brought it to the top on this one and fit it all in and welded it and did all the all the body work it was a lot of work let me tell you it really was over on this side is pretty much a mirror image of the other other side to these fatties yeah we got the uh the hoosier uh street drag radials the quick times give it a little hot rod look I want to make it look like a matchbox car. So uh, unofficially, what are we calling this thing? I don't know. There's my, my, my girlfriend and uh, the guy behind the camera was saying, you know what? We're, this was one heck of a pandemic we're in because unfortunately we're in a, our country's in a pandemic and everything. And uh, a lot of us, were affected by staying home and everything and you know what we channeled all our time into the van and everything had a great time and uh the van so came here the van came here in january and uh right now at the time of this video is uh we're near the end of uh june yeah what is today 28th 28th maybe? yeah sunday so um i think a, a lot happened what we'll do is we'll try to drop a picture of the van in the video prior to what it looks like now. I showed you the outside of the uh, van and uh, let's go into the inside. Welcome to the inside of Van Demick. You want me to go through? Yeah, let's go All through right, it. Let's do it. Let's start up front. All right. We have the old school Motorola speakers here. These are Motorola's, right? Motorola's. Yep. Up inside here in the center console, we have some hidden speakers up here as well. Uh, a few people asked, how did we build this center console? A lot of people do them in a lot of different ways. We found the easiest way to do it was from one corner to the other, run a half inch bar, then just screw right up into it. We mocked everything up before it went up. Here it is. Typical old school Cobra CB. 1970s or so, super horn. Yep. And then you can't and, forget the yeah. uh, caravan uh, switch pack there. Yep, caravan switch pack. This first switch, I forget, is that fog lights? No, that's the uh, golden oh. door lights. Yep, those are our awning lights out there. Okay. And then the uh, the the next one this does switch? the uh, does the old school fog lights. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The uh, uh, third one does the uh, yeah the backup. Third one is our backup camera. We'll let the radio fire up. We'll move right on to the fourth one here, which are the LEDs all the way around. Which we'll leave those on. So yeah, we'll go back to the third one here. Basically, we're just grounding out the camera wire so we can use it at any given time. Yep. Now, as you can see, with our Lexan, we kind of custom fabricated this uh, 
this little enclosure here for our stereo. Yeah, we have uh, basic gauges up here and we custom fabbed in these. This is where the old air conditioning switch went. That's just blue acrylic, but we will be circling back to that when this gets the vintage air system in it. Can't forget uh, the old Equus the old uh, gauge trio. Equus, yeah. Now what does this do? Volt, oil, and water temp, right? Yep, that's right. This, the vacuum gauge. That is definitely old that's school. That's the gas saver. Yep. From the crunch times. And the jet boat. Gauge pod set up. Yep. Who's got that in their van? <laughs> Not a lot of people. You know. Can't forget the uh, custom uh, dash pad you made uh, that's sitting on top of it. Yep, well, we had to cover it up somehow. We can turn the radio off. We got the matching metal flake uh, cup holders here. We went with the thickest shag we could possibly find on Facebook Marketplace at the time. We got the old school Cal Custom. Yeah, Cal Custom uh, handles. Door handle set. Now, of course, uh, the window crank, that's false. Because one thing that we did do over the last couple days, we converted this we to power converted windows. Over to power windows, it's got a rocker switch. Yep. So, uh, key you on. To, you gotta do the key on. Key on. And on this side. Yeah, that was quite a bit of work. Done now. Got the uh, old school Krager SS cap. <laughs> of course, we got the diamond tuck doghouse cover. The seats are getting redone, but not till this goes back out to Arizona. Seat belts. We these actually, are out uh, of a Chevy Express van, which matched these Express van seats. Yep. Um, I got these seats because I kind of like the uh, the way they're kind of curved on the top and stuff like that. You know, when you do the uh, diamond tuck and black, it'll look great. Yeah, the belts, these these never came with shoulder harnesses, right? No, no just lap belts. I mean, all we did was, uh, if you can see, more, more or less just welded the nut right to the frame, bolted it on, good to go. Uh, I don't know if we're missing anything else up here besides the hound's tooth roof. We'll move back well, we to the custom shifter. Oh, yeah. Console. God, the shifter. I can't miss that. I know. This looked really good at night with the neon inside of it. And that's a six speed transmission under there. Yep. Very rare. I mean, we did go over this with the bar. In got one the, of our other videos. Got the clutch pedal set up out of an uh, old Bell South uh, van. Moving on. Yep, everything's powered off of this little inverter here. Little Walmart inverter. Does the job though. So you can see, TV works fine. I think Captain Chaos even likes yep. it. Got the whiskey barrel chair, and this is on a swivel. And we do have a seatbelt for it. Let me grab the camera and I'll pull a little bit pan out a little bit and okay. you can go over some stuff. Yep. There we go. Excuse my hand, guys. So here, we like to think this is pretty custom. The Chevy wall. Kind of came to us one day like, hey, we got to do something different. Separate the living room from the bedroom. And we came up with this. I think it came out awesome. Yeah. Myself. Coming through here. That's... <laughs> We had to pick a direction for the Chevy wall, and I wanted it so when you looked in from the back, that's the correct lines. Inside here, we'll move back to the bedroom before moving back up. This is something we did that not a lot of people do. We coved these walls. Rather than run the wood straight over the top, like most people do, because we made our custom windows, and we sandwiched them between the metal panels, we wanted to have as much room as possible so we basically just made a u that goes over the frame rail here and of course you know we made every single panel in here another neat little custom thing here with the tv 
I don't know if you can see, but this is an old school, this is one of the original mirrors that we used, that we just Velcroed the TV to it. It doesn't go anywhere. Got some old school lights here, along with these vintage lights, here and over here. Now, can't forget the fur on the roof. Yep. This is furry, all right. <laughs> and this is not a pillow. This is where your gas can't, your uh, the gas, gas goes in. Yeah, the gas, it's the side of the gas thing. And we tried to utilize as much storage as possible, so we put these little pockets in. I mean, there's nothing we could really do up here as far as room goes, because because the way the wheel well fell. Yeah, of Took course. Some old hardware you know, off of. Uh, yeah, whatever the we found laying around. The uh, dresser. Dresser. But it was vintage. You know, we did go through about 15 feet of uh, this threshold material. Grip tape on the back. Oh, you know what? For Why safety. Show the uh, Moroso valve covers. Oh, I came off the van. I forgot about this. There's a lot to forget. I mean, there's a lot of little details, but we got a Moroso uh, sill plate here. A uh, big block Chevy valve cover surrendered those, and uh, I think they look kind of neat. And one other thing that um, we probably old school cup holder, which is holding the remotes. <clears throat> the latch for the gull wing that's kind of important all right well i don't want to take credit on it but uh one of our van forum guys shared a link for these uh latches here it's basically a clasp style latch and i have a clasp up here and uh because the problem is when you do these gull wing doors the uh it just has one latch so when you put it down you the, the the door has a small gap so you just uh use this and it closes it up perfect and kind of like a little yeah, security thing as up. well clamps right down holds it tight holds it tight additional lock so yeah i'm sure there's gonna be other stuff that we forgot but in the meantime meantime if there's any questions that you guys may have in the uh van world or just regular auto world or about we, the van did something that we haven't explained in another yeah. video just yeah just drop, drop, drop us in the comments comments or message us and uh it, we might even make a video on it because uh we we do like to make videos and we want you to subscribe to it and everything else and uh i think there's a, a shout out we should do a shout out a little bit because yeah there were quite this, a few people that helped us as far as sourcing parts absolutely today. absolutely um trying to think uh we got uh that booty hooked us up with the door that booty hooked us up with the door that's another th another He's custom thing that we forgot this this edge yeah it was a lot of work yeah it was so just looking at this the bottom edge of this door i had to replace so what i did was i actually took a body line from another van and i grafted it in to here just to add a nice little style line but it's also a gripper for when you grab the roof to pull it down, your hands don't slip off. So I thought that was a little neat thing to do. And, uh, you know, so we did it. Yeah, a lot of custom stuff. The uh, the gutter, that was a whole couple hours right there getting that right. Yeah. To be able to leave the gutter on and have it not hit. Also, the this van, the uh, roof was in really terrible shape. And... and uh, uh in the on the van forums uh mike G gianetti i believe his name is and uh he uh provided the roof for this and uh that was really appreciated he made us a killer deal on that yep. and then uh there's a guy named todd out in uh north carolina on the van sites he supplies parts to a lot of people and everything he gave, got me a bunch of uh uh, uh, rust repair panels I needed you know some of the stuff that was off of cut off of another van that had been surrendered and plus the clutch pedal set and everything else and uh, who else mills. yeah Browns, Browns mills. mills that's Mike Giannetti oh, that's Mike Giannetti yeah uh, and then um, well, we didn't get the roof from Mike Giannetti oh no 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 I'm sorry let me back up a little bit that was from Joseph Scott out in uh, Pennsylvania yep he who provided the roof 
Mike Gianetti. He provided us with, uh, you know, the you outdoor, know, uh, uh, a door, cap, okay. some, uh, um, some of the caps that you see on the, yep. on this, you know, from an old, 250 of them, 250 of them from an old stock and everything. We still need about 30. Still need about 30. <laughs> I want some more caps. Anyway, if I missed one of you guys, I'm sorry, but you know what? I just want to say that we're really, really feel very fortunate to have people who saved all these cool parts for the vans the van movement is still there and um, I'm uh, super thankful for Scott here who helped me like crazy five months five months <laughs> and uh, we were friends forever and uh, this van kind of brought us back because I came from uh, Arizona to New Jersey for work and everything and uh, I think we had a very fun time doing this and, yeah. uh, and I'm and probably gonna owe forever Yep. End, end of January to uh, end of June. End of June. And but, uh, uh, new project. New project. Let me pan at. over a little bit. This uh, this Hummer um, unfortunately had an oiling issue on it, and um, so we uh, sourced an engine for it. It's Yesterday. a six six point oh. Yep. And uh, we're going to be doing the. Uh, the LS swap for swap. Yeah, yeah. We'll LQ4 swap. LQ4 swap, and yeah. uh, that'll be on our videos. Yeah, to, to put it into scale, this thing is, it's ridiculous, the height of it. I mean, it's uh, its so ridiculous that we're starting to like it. Yeah. Might just keep it. Might just keep it. But uh, yeah, over there we got the motor and the garage. It's a little dark right now, but you know what? That's gonna be for a future video. So cross country garage. Hit the like button. Please subscribe. Post and, notifications. Uh, hit those. That yeah. way you get an email when we load a new video. Absolutely. You can't miss it. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, as we said earlier, if there's any questions or anything, we'll try to answer them as best we can. And maybe we'll make a video out of uh, your question, right? Yeah, it's easy enough. We know how all this got done. We didn't source anything out. Everything yeah. got done Everything right here. Everything got done right you here. Know, over the last five months. Yep, absolutely. So yeah. thanks, guys, and uh, take care. Yep. Next we'll do the test run. Yeah. Good times. Test run. Bye-bye. 360 degrees. that don't know it's Baldwin motion not Starsky and Hutch not Starsky and Hutch She's here after a six-month six hiatus. She made it. Monka. You're, you're clear. I, I take my camper out of here all the time. I'd...
Yeah, we'll just kind of, you know, line it up as get it over this way as far as possible, and then I'll we'll put it in the middle of the driveway, and then I'll move it forward later. Uh, just a little tiny branch. You're good. You can cut it. I think you're good. You're good. Now you can drop her there. I mean, it's gonna roll forward 20 feet. We can roll it forward. I'm gonna clean it and shit. Yeah. Think you want to go forward more? Yeah, I gotta go forward. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Are we rolling? Yeah. Alright. It's been well, a... I'm sure Scott did the intro, but uh this is the big Tonka toy that uh has a, a hurt motor. And uh we're gonna be fixing you know, her up a little bit. It's been a couple months, but it's time to get greasy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, you get that uneasy feeling just driving this. <laughs> <laughs> when I pulled up, I went. Uh, Do you know Tim? Yeah. So he's, he's like, yeah, I got a little truck to pick up. Yeah, I was going to one of those little pocket toys. Tim, look, I got a uh, Hummer. And he said you got to go back. And he's just going to put it. I'm like, yeah, no problem. It does have a little lift on it. <laughs> I have no idea how big this lift is. This is how I got it. It was bigger when I got it. That's what he said, because the tires were off. Yeah, I, it was, uh, the tires were 18 inches wide. It rode horrible. That's why I said, even though I don't need these, I said, it'll stop the bounce and the lead. Yeah. <laughs> Do me a favor, when I'm pulling it up backwards, I'm all the way here now instead of on the front. I said, Do me one favor. He's like, yeah, like, what's that? He's like, what's that? I go, while I'm pulling it up on the truck.